right. And then I think I just hit go, right? You just press the play button. This is how easy it is. Even a CEO can do <laughs> Even it. Even a CEO can do it. <laughs> and, and, and you want to do it? No, go ahead. Your, your steering wheel is going to move left and right, then the, the light will light up on the autonomous manual button, and you'll push the button and go. Oh, there we go. Love it. Well, it's so easy. We're, we're in full autonomous. Press the button and go. Love it. steep curve here it's handling it all in regen so you're using the electric regen to slow it down oh, nice. very efficient way to do it probably you don't have any lane uh, markings on this particular road we're on it's oh, still no. able to figure it out a lot of sharp very sharp turns yep. there's not even a stop stop sign here but it knows there's potentially two-way traffic so it yep. stops here stopped for cash. <laughs> Fortunately, it's easy and we saw that earlier that it, it knows how to stop for pedestrians and, and other obstacles and cats in the road. It's cats. got it figured out. What I'm impressed with, Paul, is how uh, real this is today. This isn't something that's three years away. This is viable for a customer who's running a campus route shuttle today. Oh, 100%. Yeah, I mean that's been the thing, right? It's it's you know how do we how do we bring autonomy to those applications where where it can be put to use like right now, right? Like uh, campuses are great environments. Well, I'm gonna manually drive now, and we'll see if we make it back. <laughs> 